Hello everyone, by the end of this video you will not only learn the differences between glycolysis and gluconeogenesis but you will also learn the tricks on how to memorize the differences between these two terms. If you look at this word glycolysis, glyco it means glucose, glyco it means glucose and lysis, lysis it means breaking down or breakdown okay lysis it means breakdown so in glycolysis the breakdown of glucose occurs whereas gluconeogenesis gluco it means glucose gluco means glucose neo means new okay neo means new and genesis genesis means production or synthesis genesis genesis means production or synthesis that means that gluconeogenesis refers to the production or synthesis of new glucose molecules. So the first difference is that glycolysis involves a set of reactions that convert glucose into two pyruvate molecules. Okay, so in this in the glycolysis glucose is converted into two pyruvate molecules. Whereas in gluconeogenesis in there is synthesis of glucose from non-carbohydrate sources. Okay, so important is glucose is synthesized from non-carbohydrate sources. Okay, so then in glycolysis, the raw material or the starting material is glucose. Uh, in glycolysis, the raw material or the starting material is glucose. Whereas in gluconeogenesis, the raw material is non-carbohydrate source such as lactate, amino acids such as alanine and and also as well as glycerols, alcohol such as glycerol. In glycolysis, the process of glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm of the cells, whereas the process of gluconeogenesis occurs in cytoplasm as well as mitochondria of the cells. Glycolysis is a catabolic process. Why? Because glucose is broken down into pyruvate molecules. Glucose is converted into pyruvate molecules. Therefore, it's, therefore, it's a catabolic process. In catabolic process, a, a, a molecule is broken down into another molecule. Whereas gluconeogenesis is anabolic process. So, which means that in anabolism, there is synthesis of molecule. So, in gluconeogenesis, there is synthesis of glucose. Therefore, it is an anabolic process. So then final difference is that in glycolysis, inner energy is released. In catabolic process, energy is released. Therefore, in glycolysis, energy is released. Whereas in gluconeogenesis, energy is required because it's a synthesis process. It, it requires energy because gluconeogenesis is an anabolic process.